dead? I don't know. Check the pulse. Gone. Take his briefcase and get out of here. Yeah, let's come on. Get out of here. Uh, I'm taking this bike too, man. I can't believe he's dead, dude. Yeah, I know. At least I got this bike for my daughter. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe there will be some cool stuff in the briefcase. Did that guy have jelly and applesauce all over his face? Yeah, I think he did, and he spilled a butter. I know. How do you get back here, man? Uh, under the table. Go. Hey, man, uh, take your bucket, too. My bucket? Is it right if I clear this off a little bit, man? Uh, yeah. Is this your actual office? Uh, no, I have a nice one downtown, but I just use this one for kicks. Yeah, it's my real office. That's pathetic, man. Ah, uh, I know. Alright, throw the briefcase down. Let's open this baby up and see what she has. What type of sick, twisted man is this guy? I don't know. What kind of sick, twisted man would spray paint his cat green? Okay. Toy I use this tape. This calculator. calculator yeah. I swear I've seen this before. <laughs> Nothing else in there, man. It's gotta be. Oh, it's another compartment. Secret compartment. Smart guy. What the hell is Journal. that? Journal. Rainbow unicorn. <laughs> I feel like such a good person. Today I started my project. I've decided that I'm going to turn all the hoes into nuns. Isn't that a great idea? I began with my new friend Suzette. She was in my first she was my first changeling, as I've decided to call them. She seemed so happy to get away from all those awful pimps. And it warmed my heart to the core. I'm looking forward to converting more changelings. Oh my god, I am doing such a wonderful job. But I have a problem. A very strange problem. It's kind of hard to explain. You see, I think that it seems like someone's trying to kill me. Now, I may just be being paranoid, but it seems like bums are trying to kill me. Yesterday, I was riding my bike to work normally, just like I always do. And this bum just hopped out of a bush and poked a huge stick into my spokes. I fell over, but luckily, I wasn't hurt. So, I got up and asked the bum, What in the name of Barbara Streisand are you doing? Kill me? Killing me? He was like, Um, actually, yeah. Some pimpish looking guy with a ponytail gave me $20 to kill you. Oh my gosh, diary, isn't that horrible? I told him that I would give him $50 and a plane ticket to Mexico City if he would just leave me alone. Yes, I know I won't be able to go see Ricky Martin next week in Mexico, but I think living would be better. So anyway, now I'm totally on the lookout for pimps and bums trying to kill me. And you know, I really don't know why they would want to. I mean, I'm such a good person, and I'm so beautiful thanks to my butter and applesauce face treatment and everything and not to mention my mini bear rug dancing aerobics to 80s music body program I bought off the Home Shopping Network. Anyway, I have to go now, but I'll write you tomorrow. Bye, Ted from Accounting. This guy's even more screwed up than we thought. Yeah, I know. Well, we got the information. Want me to arrange to meet the Nubby representative at the park this evening? Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, you want to go get some McDonald's? Great idea. Dear hobo number 4A7-3Q, Despite my best efforts to join you in the paradise called Mexico City, I was continually thwarted 
by two bumbling, thieving detectives. Now I'm left with no other alternative than to take matters into my own hands. Give my best to Hobo Jones. Hopefully I'll be joining you chaps in the not too distant future. Sick transit Gloria, Hobo Einstein. What'd she say to you? I don't know, but I have enough information to write five books. Cool. Uh, you want to grab some McDonald's? Sure. Alright. Whoa, whoa, wait. Uh, your shoe's up high. Thanks, man. Let's close for you. Some old rotten milk someone left in the sink And there's no ring 